March 19th. In two days it's spring, eh? Nice. Look at it. I made it another winter. Hey, Swissy, you criminal liars. With your lying cops and your lying authorities. You Nazi Templars. It was my fourth winter, winter outside. I made it again, eh? Oh, look at it. Nice, nice blossoming trees already. Remember what I told you about the flower and the fruit and the red rose on the on the white rugby shirt of the English. Oh. Nice. It's day after tomorrow it's springtime. Beautiful. I'm still there, Swissy. I'll get you. Oh, I broke the arch of my tent because the um, the elastic inside is it's not that good anymore, you know. So um, it, it wasn't completely inserted, you know. You, you know, it goes apart here like like this. You, know? you see. So I'm gonna put a little tube over it. I have to heat it up some first and put some oil on it. See if it works. Look, I managed. I'm happy to. I, you know, at least I, you know, like in the like if you break a leg or something, yeah. You know, I'm happy to put this on it. It only heating it up, you know, this year. Just heating it up, it didn't work. So I had to, you know, put oil all over this old bloody thing here. Yeah? I couldn't get this off either. Don't know how that works. You know, I didn't, didn't want to break it. So I had to, you know, move it all the way here. You know, otherwise, you know, if it, it's sharp, it would have, you know, make a big hole in your tent. And uh, it's still, I was sleeping outside. It was minus five Celsius, you know, in my tent in the night. It's it's a plateau here, like a thousand meters high. And another place to sleep. Not much to see. Somebody dumped a whole car here. I'm tired of France with the empty promises of these people. All empty promises, you know, the yellow, the yelling jacket, lies, um, empty promises. I'm tired of it. You know, most supermarkets already have this, you know. I can get the. Uh, to fill up your car with the electricity so soon you know you you go you have to go past through Yachin and Boas here with a chip in your head with a GPS system in it like a like a bee so you find your way your slave and then you got another chip in your right hand where you can get your electricity and uh, in the meantime you do your shopping here in a big these ones are getting bigger and bigger. Lidl, it's German, completely taking over. So, I mean, who won the war, eh? Well, at least not the German people. The aristocracy. And you have your coffee, you know, or eat something, and you come back here, and you fill up, you, you can drive away, you know, and like a bee, find, find your beehive back and fill yourself up with coffee and and croissants and whatever you know and in the evening take a little beer or whatever brave new world eh? now it says how to do it it's a magnetic card like the one you get in your hand you know like the 666 so you don't have to push it in somewhere and it's going to be read by a infrared thing an infrared light no it's magnetic so you you hold your you hold your you hold your hand on it, and here it said it says it's free. Oh, here, it's free. You do your shopping, you get your free electricity. In the beginning, it's always free, you know, so people get used to it. Yeah. It's me. Okay, let's do it this way, <laughs> Pharaoh. <laughs> yeah, me.
So I'm here in the Swiss buffer zone. They like the Ford Mustang. I see it every every time here. They already passed one here. This is right. They earn a lot of money in Switzerland. They play. They pay uh, low rents here. They all they all have the biggest model, you know, like uh, 600 horsepower models, you know. Yeah, look, French soldiers in the mug. They ran away with their tails between their legs, eh? And when the Germans came to, well, the second time, not the first time. Then they were still mad. It's all like this. It's all effeminated. Paul, Paul, you know, homo country, I tell you. Well, if you're a man, you know that <laughs> we have no more rights like it seems to be, right? Yeah, look at them. 